has to have a subject part and a predicate part. Um, but sometimes we have sentences where we use the same predicate. And today we're going to learn how we can join those sentences or combine them to make them into one longer, more interesting sentence. So let's look at this example. John ran the race. Tom ran the race. In the first sentence, my predicate part is ran the race. My verb is ran. My subject is John. If I look at my second sentence, my verb in the predicate part is ran. My subject is Tom. But the interesting thing about both of these sentences is that the complete predicate is the same. The difference is that one has a subject of John and one has a subject of Tom. So I can combine these two subjects using the conjunction and, and I've attached the video conjunction junction, which we've watched before. Conjunction junction, what's your function? We're going to use the word and to combine these two subjects and create one long subject with one single predicate. So now we have John and Tom ran the race. All right, so let's look at another one. The boy walked to the park. The girl walked to the park. If we look at these two sentences, we will see that both sentences have the predicate walk to the park. So the subject in the first sentence is the boy. In the second sentence, the predicate again is walk to the park and the subject is the girl. So I can combine these two subjects along with this single predicate to make one long sentence. The boy and the girl walked to the park. And instead of having two short sentences, I combined these with the conjunction and, and I created one long sentence. You're going to practice more of these in your book, and I know that you're going to do an awesome job.